fans of the Forge. I'm Chris and this is Teresa. And today we are going to give our thoughts on the Forge and Fire Beat the Judges series that just wrapped up uh, maybe a week or two ago. Six episodes. It was only That's six all episodes it was, long. And I'm sad. I like the show. I really enjoyed Beat the Judges. Now, let's be honest. We have watched a lot of Fortune Fire over the last few years. We were taking notes on... Diligently. Diligently taking notes on episodes, though not to everybody's fully liking. There were people that thought we could have done more in our note-taking. But, True. point being, we burnt ourselves out on watching the TV show and taking notes. So when Fortune Fire Beat the Judges came on... We had been taking a break from Forge and Fire because it was kind of... We wanted to just watch it without feeling obligated to take notes. We enjoy the show as a show. Right. So we had stopped recording videos, and as part of that, we kind of just stopped watching Forge and Fire altogether for a little while. And then when we started to see the previews for Beat the Judges, we were like, okay, okay. We're going to finally get to see Jay Nielsen, David Baker, and Ben Abbott compete against the competitors that had previously been on the show. Now, we had seen Ben Abbott before, because he had been on the show. Right. But we'd never seen Jay Nielsen and David Baker competing against contestants. Yes. So, I thought this would be an interesting way to uh, get back into watching it again. So, the you know, the six episodes were good. I think there was two episodes with each judge competing. That's what it ended up being. It... You know, it's phrased as a surprise. Who's the judge going to be? And then by the fourth episode, you kind of knew. <laughs> yeah. So a little bit formulaic, but it was nice to see they all got, you know, a couple turns to go against people. And well, the, it's so, it's structured differently from Fortune Fire as well. Mm -hmm. So the first round, these people show up, whoever's competing, and they have a, like a knife that they brought from home, right? Yep. And then Doug tests them and then they have whoever then okay so then one person gets eliminated mm -hmm. the remaining smiths go home and they compete against each other to make another knife or, or weapon and it's something that's already been done right it's a previous fortune fire weapon that had been made yeah and then they come back test those weapons and the judge that doesn't end up testing their weapon is the one that they're going to be going against in the final round. Right. So they've got Doug doing the first test because there would be the strength test, the sharpness test, and do they do the kill test? They did less tests on this one. I don't think okay. they did the full thing. So, yeah, they have one of the judges come out to do one of the tests. Yep. Another judge comes out to do the second test, and whichever one doesn't show up is the one... You're competing against. And then the third round is that last contestant going against the judge in the forge. And they have one day. Yep. To, like eight hours. And they have to do the heat treat within that. Yep. So now they're showing more of the normalizing process and the getting the proper heat treating done because they have to have these blades fully completed in a single day. Which is, it, overall, I thought was great. I thought it was a cool way of doing it. And that's a lot of stress and energy mm -hmm. that gets put into that uh, for those competing it's like really incredible mm -hmm. oh and all the judges were competing for charities yes yeah so the prize money gets awarded it either goes to the contestant or the charity of judge's choice right so you know there were some very good matches we don't want to get into specifics but i do remember there was one particular one where we saw burt foster mm -hmm. against jay nielsen yeah and that, that uh, was a early on it might have been the first it, episode it's first or second yeah um and that's like because we know the bladesmithing community in a little bit now and who's master smith and mm -hmm. everything else it's kind of a neat competition to see yeah well plus they have the little clips of the contestants coming back in the description of the episode they were on so it's like oh yeah, i remember them or hey we met them at Whatever place or... Yeah, yeah. It was. I had a lot of, oh, I met them at Blade Show. Hey, they were at Pigeon Forge. All that good stuff. Yep. So, anywho, we like the show. Mm -hmm. I would endorse that show coming back for some more episodes, definitely. Yeah, six was... I thought there would be more. I was sad there was only six. You had said something about maybe they were doing just like a little test 
to see the popularity of it. Yeah, it felt like it was the first season of a new show, like when they're doing a first run of a new show. So if a lot of people like really like it, they might bring it back for more episodes. Well, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, the judges are busy in their other, you know, real life. Not real life. It's all real life. But <laughs> otherwise, outside the show. They still have Forge and Fire episodes that are coming out. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, it was good stuff. So, we approve, and uh, we'll, we're still watching Forge and Fire now. And so, if, yep. if, you know, if you're on the show and you found us, hey, good job. And, um... We won't cover Forge and Fire like we need, used to do because it's just a little too much. But we'll be poking our heads in every once in a while and checking in and talking about something. Something for sure. <laughs> Alrighty. Thanks for watching. <laughs>